Hello, and welcome to another review of sorts with me, John. Today I'm going to be doing another review from the company known as Snack Crate. This month, Poland. If I pull my finger the right way. So, uh, this is my second uh, video I've done about Snack Crate. The first one was from Japan. Um, somehow they skipped me over for the UK one. I did call them up and they are sending me out the UK one um, probably in a few days. So, here's the map where Poland is, the flag, a little bit of information on Poland, about fun facts. Go ahead and pause it, read those things. I'm not going to do it. But, of course, as you know, I'm getting the premium snack crate. Um, and there's three options a mini, an original, and a premium. Um, as, as high as you go, you still get the smaller things in it as well. So, I'm just going to go through these uh, first by the mini. And in the mini, you receive this Prince Polo Classic. Poland's most popular chocolate bar. Exceptionally crunchy wafers covered with rich dark chocolate. I'm actually going to go ahead and taste one of these. Mm, one big wafer. I thought this was going to be like individual wafers, maybe like two or three like smaller bars, kind of like a Twix's. So as you can see from the back, the wafery design. I'm going to give it a taste. Wafery. Definitely dark chocolate. Pretty good. It's the classic version. Pretty good, pretty good. And what do we have next? Krau Kawi? Krau Kawi. Is that how you say it? Famous Wawel chocolate filled with flowing caramel. So it says flowing caramel. Let's see if it is actually flowing. You can see it's like in little pieces. Ooh, it is a bit flowy. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Almost butterscotchy. Very good though. Very good. Now we have Paluski. This means Polish little fingers. It says similar to salted pretzels. They look just like salt pretzels. Let's taste one. Just look like a pretzel. It just tastes like a pretzel. Mm, nothing special. Next we have... Aha! This is made from sesame seeds rolled in sugar, and it says the name comes from the sound when it makes it when you snap it. Now I have already had one of these. Um, I didn't like it. My wife really liked it though, so I guess it depends on how you like sesame seeds. Also, it didn't make an aha sound when I snapped it. And then lastly, from the mini, you get these, which are plums in chocolate. That's right, you get a small plum wrapped in chocolate. And that's basically what it is. I, I already had one of these as well. Um, and it's just what it says. It's like a little candy plum in chocolate. Not bad. So that's everything you get with the mini. Moving up, you have the original, which you get everything for the mini, plus these. 
first thing is the princessa. So you have the prince and you have the princessa. And according to this, it says people of Poland are divided. You either prefer Prince Polo or Princessa. And this is, looks like it is just chocolate, but the front picture looks like just chocolate, but on the back, it looks like that wafer, that wafery kind of chocolate. And it actually feels very similar as well. I think it just might, this symbol here might just be telling you it's made of milk chocolate. But uh, if it says the same thing, it probably tastes like the other one. I'll just assume that it does taste similar, maybe a little bit different. Then you also have another Prince Polo. This time it is a hazelnut flavor. Um, I'm guessing that that's what this means. Smack or ch or zichawi. So another one of the same kind of bars, but this time hazelnut flavor. Interesting. And then we have this big bar, the tiramisu chocolate bar. This is a chocolate bar filled with creamy tiramisu. It's like having two desserts in one. Let's try this one out. If I can get it open. It looks like it wants to open. There we go. This one, this is what it looks like, little pieces. This one's kind of melty. I think it's because of the filling. It's kind of oozy. It's supposed to be tiramisu in the middle. Yeah, tastes like tiramisu. If you turn tiramisu into a candy. You have a little coffee flavor, a little biscuit crunch. Not bad. Next up we have Petite Buree, delicious butter biscuits that pair nicely with coffee or tea. So they look like a little package, probably like a butter cookie kind of tea biscuit. That's been too special. But probably pretty de decent with some coffee like it says. Next up, and this is the last thing from the original bag. These interesting things. Called Uzatki. Uzatki? That's what I'm going to say. But these are a very traditional and popular Polish snack. This is Polish gingerbread covered in sugar. So you can see it looks like it has like some crystallized sugar on the top of it. I'm gonna open this up. Taste one of these gingerbread cookies. Much softer than I thought it was gonna be. Almost like a gingerbread donut hole. You get like that refreshing, gingery, tingly, you know? Quite interesting. Oh, it says heads up. The expiration dates on these snacks are in European date format. Day, month, year. I don't think I'll have to worry. And lastly, the premium page, which like the premium you get like almost like another whole box. And we're going to start with Lapsy. Looks like Tapsy, but according to this, it's Lapsy. Onion and cheese flavored chips made in a traditional Polish style. I don't know what traditional Polish style means for chips. They're like kind of wavy, they're kind of curly. Supposed to be onion and cheese. Let's taste. 
Definitely not American style. It's almost like puffed. You can see it's almost it's like a thicker, almost puffed chip. I don't really care for it. Flavor's alright. Next up, we have Supreme Jaffa Cakes. Delicious sponge cakes filled with raspberry filling and draped in dark chocolate. I've had these before. I like them. It's, uh, if you like kolachkis, which are another Polish uh, cookie, it's basically that covered in chocolate. And uh, I'm not going to open those. But this one, because I've already had those. Next up, let's see what we have next. This is a big box. And this is pronounced in English Potassi Mleko. It means bird's milk. Soft chocolate covered candy filled with milk souffle. I'm going to try one of these because I've never had one of these. Ooh, look at that. It's like a box of chocolates. Oh, and there's like two trays of them. Excuse me. And it looks like it comes in a variety of flavors. This one looks like it's just the original vanilla flavor. But then you see on the lid here, it comes in multiple flavors. Let's try this one out. Mmm. It's such like a creamy, spongy, almost gummy consistency. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Not sure if I like it. Let's move on to Danusia. Danusia, created back in 1913, the recipe has not changed since. A thick, nutty chocolate filling with a subtle alcohol tone in a thin bar. I'm going to taste this one because I'm interested in the alcohol tone that it says. There's like a imprint of someone's face on there. Just to take a little bite. Oh, there's like a filling inside the chocolate. I don't know if I pick up on any nutty notes. But I do kind of feel like a, a slight alcohol tone to it, almost like it's a, a little heat to it, almost. I gotta say, I like that one. Now, this is one that I found extremely interesting when I saw it. So this looks like rainbow Cheeto, but Cheeto Puffs. It's called Wiki Trupki. Colorful balls of corn and many flavors. This snack is very popular in Poland, Germany, and many Eastern European countries. This up. Taste one of these puffs. It's like fruity flavored Cheetos. Can't say I quite enjoy that one. Moving on. And then we got. Jeski. Milk chocolate coated biscuits with caramel, hazelnuts, raisins, and rice crisps. It almost looks like a, like a Star Crunch bar, but it also has like raisins in it. It's very interesting. I'm not going to try it right now. I already opened too many things. Then we have... Mela. Delicious black currant jelly coated in a smooth milk chocolate. So another jelly coated in chocolate. Seems like Polish candy is a lot of like jelly type things with chocolate on them. Either milky jelly or fruity jelly or chocolatey jellies. And then the last treat is this 
Famalingi wafers. Creamy coconut filling in between two crispy vanilla wafers. So this is a coconut flavor. Also, if you notice, there's some kind of contest. If you can read Polish, and you live in Poland, maybe you can read this and enter the contest. It says something on the other side, too. I'm going to peel it off to see. And then if you, you guys want to use this for your own... Yeah, I don't know if it's coming off or not. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Alright. So, if you live in Poland and are reading this and watching this, I'm going to give you this code. First person to look at it and use it. Go ahead and use it. Win something. Maybe a bike? Who knows? And that's the last thing. However, there is a drink upgrade, which I do have. It's in the fridge. I'll be right back. Thank you for waiting. The drink upgrade is called Orz Oranzata You exclamation point. This intensely flavored soda is made with orange, apple, and black currant juices. I'm gonna try this because I've never had it. Let's say orange, apple, and black currant. Let's give it a taste. It tastes like an intensely fruity energy drink. You still got like that vitamin-y taste that you get from most energy drinks, but a lot of like actual fruit flavor. And I can't read Polish, so I don't know if it says the percentage of fruit juice in there. And I would tip this over so it's horizontal, but I don't want to spill my drink out of here. Maybe I should have shown this to you before I opened it. Too late now. <laughs>